Let's now, see. as a very last arc on our Earth, I think we should be able to kill the guy. <laughs> I mean, everybody hates King of England, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Take see, a shot at him. See if you can do anything. Let's see if we can murder him. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Paradox Stream with Crusader Kings. I'm David, the local uh, release engineer for Crusader Kings, and with me we have a new uh, person from our team. Hello everyone, I'm Arthur. I am a QA tester on CK3. Wonderful, welcome. So that means uh, you know a little bit about the game and how it works? and uh, A wee bit, yeah. Okay, good, excellent. Uh, so you can help newbie me uh, get through some of this stuff. So what is it we're trying to get through here today? Well, I'm glad you asked. We're trying to achieve the Blood Eagle achievement, which as you can see there says, starting as any child of Ragnar Lothbrok, conquer all of the British Isles. Well, last week we uh, made a little bit of progress on that. We gained a little bit of extra territory and we're pushing towards uh, expanding into Northern England here. And uh, well, this week we're gonna try to continue that. Maybe this week we'll even conquer the entire British Isles. Well, I mean, if with your pro tips, maybe. <laughs> we'll In the next try. couple of hours, we'll see what we can do. Current state of affairs, uh, we've got our armies raised. Uh, we are at war with uh, our not-so-much friends over here in uh, the Denmark area. Looks like uh, we are helping out one of our friends, one of our allies. Uh, we'll... You know, we'll, we'll we'll see what we do with that. Maybe we can let them fight it out while we go raiding or something. I or think they're fine. Well, whatever, yeah. Um, but I, I'm, I'm noticing also here that this little territory is very, very small and uh, weak and... Only 34 men, yeah, just... Ally-free, prime for the takeover. Uh, England down here is uh, getting a little big. I mean, only, only 3,600 men, but, you know, we'll see. <clears throat> Guys are Kinslayer, though. I don't think his vassals will really like him. Hmm. Maybe, yeah. maybe an easy suicide. You know. Yeah. Maybe he falls off a yeah. falls off a cliff or something. Who knows? Um, but uh, yeah. So uh, we're getting raided as well. So we we'll probably need to deal with some of that. Uh, we just took some territory, so we we'll probably need to hand something off to a vassal to handle. Uh, but I think first things first is um, let's go take care of the raiders because I really don't like having raiders yeah. tromping through my territory. Oh, there they. They Although are. they're leaving, so they I are leaving. Catch them. Yeah, um, they got a lot of money though in their pockets. They do. It's probably not all our money, but uh, if we can get our hands on it, that'd be nice. It's a long run. I don't think they're going to get there in time, but no, I don't think so either. Yeah. <clears throat> oh man, excuse me. Chest is going a little crazy here. Uh, probably need to get this guy back over into our territory. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're already gone. Yeah, they're gone. Oh, well. I might as well uh, get your armies down. I, I wouldn't go and help the guys in Denmark. <laughs> it's just one <laughs> county war, you know? Yeah. You have bigger affairs right now. Yeah, like, let's see. Prisoners? Do we have, what kind of prisoners do we have? Yeah. 30 prestige and gold? Sure, we'll take that. Always something. 30, well. That's already that one. Oh, right on. Awesome, yeah. Considering something... Boy, I we sure got a lot of people from... From literally the same person. Yeah. They sure didn't get their entire family. Who knows? Hard to say. Um, all right, yeah, so stand down the troops. Let's do that. Let's disband everybody. Nice and handy. And I think the new territory that we just grabbed was this one up here. Mabel. Mabel. Like it, yeah. Mabel. So we can probably find someone to handle that for us. You still have on this bonded army, by the way. Hmm. One stock did not disband. Oh, probably because there was, might have been someone hostile nearby. Yeah, there we go. Poor trade. Hmm. Well, because we're sadistic, raiding or trading, trading would uh, <laughs> make us uh, a little bit more stressed. And how are we doing on that? Yeah, I think if you get 48 stress, that's, uh, that's an early grave. What are we, like 80? 82. Yeah. yeah we're pretty old. Yeah, we're at 45, another 48. It doesn't hit us over the threshold just yet, but, I mean, it gets us real close. The, the next event will definitely... 91, yeah. I mean... But we lose all our stress if we go this route and gain some prestige because, you know, 
that's just better. Oh, it's because this clan oh. down here is trying to raid us. All right. I mean, now you can actually raise the troops and go after them. Yeah, let's bring this down closer so it's right there. And I tend to, well, we can raise all armies because we're at war. So that's super convenient. Okay. Make sure to uh, cancel the gathering. Cancel the gathering. Yes, in the army you are. Because right now they will take 47 days to actually do anything. Mm. But right now we have an ample enough force to, you know, go and take them. Good call. Good call. Nephew taken prisoner. Let's go get that nephew back. And we've got a great, great bit of uh, advantage there. Got all, all of our money back. Did we get our nephew back? I don't think so. Hmm. Let's find it. We just crushed their army. Why wouldn't we get our people back? Guy's spindly anyway. Yeah, I mean he is, but you know, he's probably not going to be worth a whole lot to us anyway. So it's fine. Three months to go back home. Yeah. Neighboring ruler lost a war. All right, let's let's handle that county that you want. Yeah. We're getting some penalties still from there. Yeah. Let's see, there's no. No, that's an that's an easy one. Yeah, very easy take there. But I think you're on truth with them right now. Uh, I'll check that in just a moment after we give this away to somebody. Now, I, I've been, when I've been playing at home, I've been doing this whole uh, mm -hmm. random person, random selection, because I don't really see anybody here that really needs it. Maybe my grandson could take it. He's got a claim, but does he actually have anything? He's unlanded, so. That has a thousand prestige, though. Yeah, yeah, I will give it to him. Seems like a good choice. Mm -hmm. Keep it in the family. Yep, yep. Grant that to Simander Thurison. Th Thurison? Yeah. I have no clue. Yeah, to be honest. yeah. <laughs> yeah. These uh, these these interesting uh names that we get um, like they are they're challenging for me. And uh, last week Troy was making fun of me because of the way I was <laughs> constantly butchering the names. Um, you know. It's all good. Uh, all right, so the the Jarl Ingen, uh, here we go again. Ingenior, <laughs> Ingenior, Born's daughter, is uh, severely injured, seven years old, so under some sort of regency, presumably. Um, oh, oh no, our, our chat screen went all screen savory on us. That's unsavory of it. But I bet our booth folks, our heroes in the booth, can handle that for us. Wake that puppy up. Uh, all right. Yep, we're gonna we're gonna. Yep. That's mm. a truce. Oh, there's a truce. Ah, oh, you survive for now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nothing a simple go. plot to kill one too. No, we'll just have to wait that one out. That's all right. They're not gonna either. They're gonna get gobbled up by the north up here somewhere, uh, or they're just gonna hang out and wait for us. So we'll see. Uh, Brother Godfrey died of old age. Mm, he's eighty-one years old. Maybe you can do something with the prestige. Have you looked at if you can, for example, hybridize your culture? Hmm, that is a great question. Hybridize the culture. Let's go down here and look at our culture. Uh, diverge. Let's, let's see. Now, uh, click on Ang Anglo-Saxon. Anglo-Saxon. In the map. In the map. Yeah. Somewhere down in this area here. Or just zoom out in that map mode. Hmm. Culture map mode. Hmm? Anglo-Saxon. Yep, click anywhere. We'll be fine. Yeah. There you go. Let's see. Uh, acceptance zero. Yeah, I don't think we'll be hybridizing anytime soon. Mm -hmm. But it could be good to look into that in the future. So you're seeing, yes, up here, acceptance zero. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep, yep. We don't really care for the Anglo Saxons. Do we care about the. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Diverge no. from Anglo. Okay, that's an, that's an in game. Yeah. Yeah. One. And the Cumbrian. Minus 0.63 acceptance per, per year. year, which is yeah, a slow, 15, yeah. slow drop. The Welsh? No. I, I would still go for Anglo-Saxon. Yeah. Got to get them accepted first, though, I suppose. Yes, with your steward, you handle that. Mm. You can also get random bonuses that increase the acceptance. Oh, I see. Promote cultural acceptance. And we've got promote culture. Uh, that would mean in a particular county, trying to change the culture of a county to Norse. Yes. Very similar to what the basically religious figurehead does with the Realm religion. Priest. Yeah. <laughs> priest. Collect taxes. We never do that. And the collect taxes actually pretty decent. Nine percent. 
if you're a tribal, for example, right, and development doesn't really matter for you as a tribal, then you know, might as well get some gold. Hmm. So now you're saying that development doesn't really matter too much as a as a tribal. But we're feudal. Hmm. But we're feudal anyway. Hmm. But as a tribal, you might oh, want okay. to consider that option. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Use your yeah. Well, I mean, yes, we need to use the money. That's for sure. Now the the real issue for me is, is with the using the money at the moment is there's some really cool stuff that uh, comes a little bit later, like uh, these guys here, but we don't have the tech for it. Or oh, the, no, that's the, a long ways yeah. away. Like marches in particular, really personally like that one because of the levy reinforcement rate. Getting reinforcements back quickly is a good one. Um, but there's, uh, there's some other good stuff in here too. All of these buildings are really good, to be honest. Yeah, but it's also why they cost 300 and take four <laughs> years to build and require... Advanced technology that yeah. we don't have yet. That's more of a 1066 start date option. Yeah. But the Grand Temple, mm. what do we need for that? Well, we need the Norse culture has the crop rotation innovation, which again, well, we <laughs> yeah, that's in about 387 years. Who's the culture head for Norse? Uh, not us at the moment. Ah, it's a shame. Pretty sure. Oh, no, that's the that's religion. Faith. Yep. I want this one. Uh, yeah, it's of over course. in Sweden. Where's it, Swedes? Yeah, and it, I, I notice it keeps bouncing around an awful lot, too, so that's... Yeah, it's because it depends on your realm size. Oh, of how much good. Of how much provinces within, uh, mm -hmm. with your culture, you have in your realm. Oh, okay. And so, back over here in the culture thing... Yeah, there's not much. Yeah, because we're Norse. I don't think we have any, to be honest. Right, we just got the... Anglo-Saxon ones. Influences over here, and all the Norse people are over this way. Yeah. Know thyself close to the end. Well, yep. Oh, yep. Mm. Lasted uh, 82 years. There That's we go. A very, very long time for this time era. Um, I think we could try to disin disinherit some people. But yeah. I don't think it will matter all that much for elective kingdom. Right. Let's see. We can modify some contracts. Oh, we've got a prisoner that can be ransomed for a whole... Or two of them that can be ransomed. Let's check that real quick. Just as a fun diversion. 30 gold. Don't like to do. And this one, probably also the same liege. Yep. So this this inheriting is a very valid tactic. <laughs> like cheating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess. Um, one of the interesting things here, because we're using an electorate, we can't just, like, pick an heir. We have to go through this whole little election process and get people to vote for us or make of um a, a vote for somebody that they really like yeah let's see let's see the reasoning if you go to electors and you will hover over the red uh yeah let's see there's a woman wow that's that's a big one yeah uh, that's a big one woman in score i dislike her see if traits. you see if you pick your firstborn maybe they will be more lenient towards that she is our firstborn uh firstborn son uh, that's a different story uh, he died uh, secondborn <laughs> then uh, you have a few you've been working there are some choices yeah our yeah. son the seven-year-old covetous gambler who's rowdy you can see how powerful he is because he have he has four r's by his name yes that's true um also he he's well, last time, so we were we were doing this fun little thing where when we name our children, we're adding some R's to the end because oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what's going on. Um, uh, we also just... started kind of doing that same yeah. thing with the sisters as well. Um, Princess Uner, lots of N's and R's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we like to keep it light and have some fun, right? I, I like naming my children and pets after certain items. So, mm -hmm. for example, I have an event when I have a pet and I name it Xbox Live and it's really funny seeing it in the vents. There's also a funny quirk of naming pets after your co-workers and so th then you can see for example my, my friend Fabian who is also here on stream stealing gold from me. <laughs> Thank you Fabian. Yeah. I mean it seems like something he would do though. Like if you're yeah. playing multiplayer Oh, we're yeah. playing this together. Oh yeah. 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 It, it seems like he'd, he'd definitely try some intrigue and try to uh, steal some gold from you now and then, um, just because he's fun like that. All right. So that made a big difference on some of the negatives here. Obviously, uh, this guy's going to vote for himself. Yeah. Prince Andres 
half Dane son is going to vote for himself, but he's also got some other folks in favor of him. And uh, let's look at the one that might give us the best chance of tipping the scales. Mm, honestly, I think it'd be better to try to send them gold. Paranoid dislikes vengeful. Sadistic just dislikes just. <laughs> Temperate dislikes drunkard. Okay, well, that, that that's a vassal and a half. Yeah, that's that's those are numbers that aren't going to change. This one is um, he's evil. Okay. Yep. Yeah, sure. He's e a child is evil. <laughs> <laughs> Our candidate Ragnar. It's it's very. Vitz, Vitzirk? 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 Okay, there we go. Uh, is only a child. Fair enough. Is evil. <laughs> huh. what, did, what did he do? <laughs> Had you know, the audacity to be born. You know, there are a few events in the game where you can actually, actually vivisect your own pets. Maybe our child got something like that. Huh. Maybe. I don't know. I, I suspect, though, that the reason the score is in the direction that it is is because of all the other stuff's in support of Andreas. Oh, yes. The uh, Vassal will be currently the one is really strong yeah well let's see what we can do with this guy hmm let's see what's our what's our chance here 10% <laughs> mm. we also don't have time for that yeah probably don't even have time to sway him but you said uh, send him a gift we've got some money 50 opinions good one that's not bad what you could also do is try to host a feast which will give you a opinion bonus with Everyone who's invited. That is a good choice as well. Let's send him a gift too. That'll probably put him in our favor. Or close to it. That's much closer. All right, so let's go over to our decisions over here. And <clears throat> let's look at hosting a feast. Unavailable for five years. I think we'll be okay with that. 200 gold. Yeah, that looks fine. More hooks would be nice. Yes, that would be helpful. All right. Oh, we could assign our spy master to see if he finds anything. I doubt we'll helpful. live that long. But. Right. Okay, well, we've got the feast going. And it's worth a try because I've just been having her disrupt and schemes. And she's also at 10, so. It's fine. Yeah, it's super duper average. 10, 14, but a much, much better steward. The guy's also dying. E yeah. Well, he's a bleeder. He's one-legged. One yeah. <clears throat> he's wounded. Might die. Man's, man's not going to last long. Yeah, well, he's probably going to outlast his liege at this point, <laughs> who is currently dying. This is this is our death feast. We're having a feast before we die. I mean, you know. Yeah. Seems like a way to go out. And you know what? <laughs> Without even raising our armies, we're winning this war over here. This that's, tiny, that's how good we are. teeny little war over here. I mean, there's a group of 4,000 and... They've got, what, a thousand, eighteen hundred men, so yeah, yes. I think we're fine with that. Small and complete and didn't do everything. It's all us. Uh oh Disaster strikes. My lord, the wine we cracked open. The next barrel, it has gone bad. It has all gone bad. The feast is still raging, but without drink, the mood is sure to dwindle at a cruel pace. Let's see. I think that's options well worth. Wine merchant should still be in town. Everyone get likes us fought thirst for 10 years or we spend some prestige and money uh, I would rather spend just a little bit more money because we've got a lot of it plus yeah. an opinion of everyone that's that's a good one yeah plus 10 opinion and well gain a little bit of prestige for the next few months that we have to live <laughs> there we go problem solved there look at that we're solving problems thank you can you ask the news there <laughs> <laughs> it is actually really it is shirt. yeah thank yeah. you it's very nice uh, that lady over there is refilling a tightly grasped glass for the third time since joined by their spouse. A relationship on the brink of collapse. That lady on the other side of the hall is keeping to the walls, avoiding all conversation as well as eye contact. A secret to keep safe? Everyone is hiding something, and with a practiced eye, even the smallest of details will show you the whole picture. They are wearing their shame so openly. Oh, that's good. You will not die for the next three years. Not like you have much time left anyway. <laughs> <laughs> not for hostile schemes anyway. <laughs> uh, feast is my guests depart until next time. Everyone gains 20 opinion for 10 years. Okay. And gain some prestige. All right. 
Excellent. Last 10 opinion from previous. That's a pretty hefty bonus. That's a good bonus. I wonder if that's going to do anything with our succession. Let's take a peek, because that was like the whole point, right? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, it's closer. Well, uh, it's still at minus 10 from where we left it before the feast. Uh, a twist. The twist and turns of fate have not always been to my advantage. Odin knows that I was cursed the day I met Duchess Erwin. Erwin. Today, however, that curse has been lifted. Fate has smiled upon me and brought that barren witch to her grave. Huh. And so she's dead? Yeah. Okay. Do we have any memories with her? No. Died under mysterious <laughs> circumstances. All right. Yeah, I see how it is. <laughs> okay. Not one day too soon. I don't know Please. why we're upset with her. Uh, check your memories, maybe? Was killed by Countess Harrigeth. All right. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Let's go over here and... Our memories are this open book here. Died under mysterious She's a rival. Yep. Um, uh, you have it on twenty third, uh, twenty first of January, yep, right here. Mm hmm. We became rivals. Uh, hover over the uh, underscore text. Uh, doesn't say much. Yeah, that's just her. Eh. Okay. Well, there was probably some reason of why. I mean, she's Catholic. That's that's I mean, the reason enough. It's fair enough. Yeah. yeah. And her spouse is over here. Uh, some, uh, a neighbor, yeah. Well, we can just uh, unthrone him soon enough. I guess he's a, a subordinate to the king of England. Let's now, see. as a very last act on our earth, I think we should be able to kill the guy. <laughs> I mean, everybody hates king of England, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Take see, a shot at him. See if you can do anything. See if we can murder him. Uh, uh, what? Pretty well, that's pretty uh, well defended. What's our spy master? Only at ten, um, and our ability in in uh, intrigue is also pretty average. We've been a pretty good steward, which has given us a lot of uh, ability to hold a good number of holdings. And with our wife managing our domain, that's helped quite a bit too. She's not so oh, bad. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, when we hand over to whomever we hand over. Um, yeah, 11 stewardship's all right. What's she got going on? Five. Also, she's a <laughs> lunatic, <laughs> which is going to make that uh, interesting. Scaly, inapathetic, inapathetic, inapathetic. Yeah. She doesn't want to eat? Yep. Okay, cool. And scaly. Hmm. So if you die, are you going to play us husband right now? Or yeah. will it be one of your sons? Well, at the moment, it's going to be this. But he's the heir to the main kingdom. Right. Let's see who you will play as. I think it's the same person. Yeah, yeah. when you die, it'll be the same. Yeah, so just, you know, just, I don't know, wait a few months and uh, you'll be in a pretty good spot, I think. Mm -hmm. You might as well vote on the guy as well. Because, you know, it's going to be anyway. Uh, we'll see. See if we can get it to switch, get people to lean in our favor. Probably won't be able to. I don't have the hooks to deal with it, but uh, secret document lost. Spymaster. 20 opinion. Yeah. I think it's still fine. It has like 100. Oh, we're getting raided up here again. Uh, let's go ahead and move our rally point back up here. You know what we could do? Instead hmm. of... I don't, I don't think they're... I don't know, they are. But instead of what we could do, we could wait on our own. We could go raiding. Yeah. yeah. You want to pay a Pope to visit? <laughs> <laughs> That's a long way to go for some raiding. I mean, we may steal his hat, right? Right. Or did, or did we patch that? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. We've got a good 5,000. Oh, we're not going to catch him, are we? I don't know if we can get to him and like get our money back. Oh, yeah. There's a chance that if we actually raid the capital of England... Might capture the guy. Yeah. Maybe do another blood eagle. Let's see if we can catch him and take our money back. All right, all right. We won a war without any effort. <laughs> the best kind of win. Servants and masters. Let's close that battle. Sverker, Jarl Ingenor's guest, is firmly in my grip. However, with the right strategy. I might raise my upper hand even further. Perhaps Verker could be used to extend my influence over the Yarrow? Hmm. 
interesting choices. Let's see, here is how you will be certain to uncover this person's secrets. Finds evidence. Yeah, I see how it is. Interesting. I mean, we're plotting that? against a nine-year-old. Right, and it is, she is in control of territory that we do want to take over. Raid is cap on capture him. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Canterbury. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they usually just leave their treasures laying around, so, you know, let's just appropriate them. Uh, you are the key to a beautiful trap. Staged murder. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Realistically, how much do you think people back in the day would believe that a nine-year-old killed someone? <laughs> let's see. Carl Ingerway. Huh? Trap failed. Svicker dies. Trap uncovered. Killed by me. Mm, make it clear how easily I can reach her. 87% to get a weak hook. And spread a few rumors to gain some dread. I think that's a good one. I think the dread's a good one. The yeah. dread one's a good one. She's a one province ruler anyway. Just, you know. Um, I think she's actually got the Isle of Man as well. Yeah, she's still. gonna die soon as well. Yeah. Banged up. More than friends. <laughs> what? As my friend and you know, and I, and I make our way through the castle town of Jorvik, we talk of old times. Remember that time we lingered in each other's company well into the night, making plans for the future, imagining a shared one? Ah, yes, how could we ever forget? That was a lifetime ago, though, mm. we'll imagine. Yeah. This is our, well, our physician, right? Yes, how could we forget? Remember how I patched up your leg? <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what I paid you to do. Right? You did your job, thanks. <laughs> Cursed alt history generator. Stab with the stomach height lower. <laughs> I, f I think the ankle bitings would, would suffice. <laughs> <laughs> the Battle of Gallery ended in an astounding victory. I eagerly listened to the messenger as he reads the report from my commander, Halfdan. And then... Turn to the soldiers before me. My lord, we cornered the remaining enemies. As they made a valiant stand, they gave their lives protecting this banner. This event features one of my favorite memes, by the way. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, it will make a fine addition to my collection. Mm, yeah. Or we can burn it. War banner destroyed. Gain some prestige. It's an online um, banner. I, keep it. I, yeah, I think that's a good thing to take. And let's go check over. Let's go check in here. Because we might be able to hang it up now. Be like, yo, look what we took. <laughs> let's stick it off to the side just because it's... Oh, no. Cursed cat of Worcestershire. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Very saucy. Now, unfortunately, I've been informed that our little button panel over here that we had that would have made me make a meowing sound here is in Poland right now. Because we got some kind of a thing happening in Poland. So we just have to use our imagination for the sound of the cat um, at this point. But we're going to go ahead and raise our grandeur a bit and increase some prestige. <laughs> there we go. I mean, I'm going to Poland in a week. You want me to bring it back? <laughs> uh, I um, We'll work something out. We'll, we'll figure it out. Oh, grandest land. How dare they take it? Well, right? <laughs> the grandest land. That's a... Uh, from the land party over there? I heard a little bit of something about that, but I'm not really sure what's going on with that. Maybe no, maybe uh, Nurgle there will let the people know what's going on. Uh let's look at our let's look at our courtly events, shall we? Yeah. yeah My us. grandson, Earl Semunder, has excelled during our recent battles and my court is buzzing with excitement. What an accomplished champion. What a role model. What a man. With all the praise raining down on him, it is made clear that I am expected to officially reward him in some manner. Eh, I'll speak well of him. He is the new lord of Earl of Yernamorda. Uh, we gain some grandeur, come closer to becoming friends, even though we're on our deathbed. <laughs> he gets a bit of land, um, or we give him some money and gain a little bit of grandeur. I mean, guy that well in battle comes to your card and expects to be well rewarded. It's not like a giga chat to me. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah. He's a berserk. Also sadistic. He's forgiving, but he's arrogant. Yeah, I would give him a reward. I don't want to end <laughs> up on his side of the sword. Yeah, yeah. 
let's see. I think I think some money would be nice. Um, honestly, I don't really care about forming new friendships here uh, because we're going to die soon. We are However, on our deathbed. Have you considered that if you become a friend, that opinion will also carry over to your heir? Will it now? Yes, it will. Hmm. Interesting. Royal Court Grandeur now level three. Uh, let's see here. Getting a head. Not getting a head, but getting <laughs> a head. Such a wonderful title. I I really do <laughs> love it when puns pop up in game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, especially when they're like related to what you're doing. Yeah. And, you I've, I've counted, I think, about five Star Wars memes in our game. <laughs> <laughs> I, try keep, I try and keep every single one of them. They're amazing, by the way. Yeah. They're just great. Now, some people might think, like, oh, no, the... The the era wasn't was was super serious back then. Yeah. No. Nah. No. Have you heard of that guy um, who wrote a few plays, uh, Shakespeare? A lot of <laughs> fart jokes and uh, you know, just some really ribald humor. It's yeah, great. If you have depression on every corner of the street, you might as well just have some fun. Right. Right. What else are you gonna do? A flock of robed women burst into my ro throne room hectically searching the floor and uprooting everything from chairs to skirts in frantic search. King Sigrid, cries one. We are the followers of Hulder. Oh, we're going to go with that. Skjolder? Skjolder? Hulder? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, the Headless, a great holy man who has been decapitated as part of a prophecy Odin gave him at birth. As often happens with holy figures, his head started rolling away. We've been chasing it through the land and are certain it rolled up the hillock into your castle. It sounds like someone is literally coming to your house and trying to sp sell you God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the head just came right. here. I saw it with it my rolled, own eyes. Rolled uphill. Yeah. <laughs> you have m my leave to search the castle. Cecilia joins the court. Who is this person? Hmm. Um, aggressively average, I guess. Um, so. Gains opinion. Uh, Stjorburn, our priest. Uh, not a fan of that. Let me join the search. Have a chance to spend some grandeur, gain a little bit of grandeur, find a long forgotten antiquity. That's only 30%. Or we find the actual head. Oh my god. I have actually never found a head with this event. Yeah. Uh, or we can gain some grandeur. Our priest is happy. Entry challenge against Cecilia and intimidate the cult. Ten court grandeur is a good one. Yeah. That's that's not bad. Hmm. Yeah. Hey, look at that. We gained some grandeur. And some intrigue. Lifestyle experience. All right. Nifty. Okay, how much, how much time does this tell us? How much time we have left? I don't no. think much. No, but it's gonna be gonna be soon. It's gonna be soon. We can hold court, and we can raise a rune stone. Now these rune stones. Like, I I raise that. Yeah. That's good stuff. Good stuff. There we gain some piety. We gain some prestige. Ancestral rune stones increases popular opinion. Control growth. Levy size. You know, that is all good stuff. As far as I know, the achievements for raising rune stones don't carry over to your heir. Mm, so so as you do like five or something like that? No, no, no. So as an heir, you can't raise a rune stone for your father's achievements. Mm. You can raise one to honor your father, but that's about it. Right. So you might as well just get them up while yeah. you can. Okay. Good call. Rocks through the ages, subject. <laughs> Every rune stone tells a message, message of some significant event in the life of the commissioner. From the smallest peasant to a king like myself, the stone records all. What shall the monument speak of? Perhaps a vanquished foe, or get our money back? You are literally placing a boulder dedicated to beating a nine-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you want to be remembered? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Annandale, Ulster, or Lancaster. Shire. Well, let's take a look. Ulster. Uh, Annandale's up here in the north. Do we need control up here? Popular opinion would be nice. Yeah, we definitely could use some control there. Ulster is over here. Much better control already. And then Castashire is here. Yeah, I think uh, Annandale's a good spot to put that. 
Did you happen. imagine being some archaeologist in the 1950s and just seeing a rune saw of a guy who just beat up nine-year-old in a war? I mean... Ah, uh, yes, this king who ruled half on England has just gone to war <laughs> against one count. Well, I, I believe they had more territory at the time, and I think the transition over to her happened during the war. But uh, that's how the runestone will remember it. That's, that is the most prolific fact that will keep on living. Yeah. You know, well, I say history is written by the, the winners, so we won. Over a nine-year-old. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> An 82-year-old, though. Oh, you know. that's true. <clears throat> It looked like it would be a tedious evening once the feast's entertainment was over, but Ingerors saved the day by suggesting a reading from a city of God. I also love that one. Fabulous. What are you... Oh, there we go. And there we go. Yep. And he's fought in four wars. Got some stuff. A half-brother. Here we go. You're still the king of your victory. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, 33 years, that's not bad. Took over when he was 50. Yeah, he will be missed. <laughs> the guy who defeated a nine-year-old. <laughs> Forever in my heart. Mm. We have a bunch of troops in Scotland. We might want to bring them back. Do we? Yes, we're paying lots of money oh, for having them. Oh, good lord, yes. Good call. Chancellor and champion. Do we have a better chancellor? We do. So, let's move him over. To steward, and let's go get a better chancellor. Vassal there, that'll make him happy. Let's get ourselves a marshal. Oh, no, that's a good marshal. 20. Commander and champion, steward champion. Yeah, okay, good enough. Can we find a better spy master? Mm, yeah, it's a ride. Yeah, not worth it at this point. No, let's bring the troops back. Yeah, uh, let's pick first, yeah. our thing here first. Learning. Learning. Such an interesting lifestyle. Yeah. I mean, he's already almost got wholeness of body. Oh, that guy's going to live a long time as well. So we could put some put some time into wholeness. He's almost there, too. He's almost got the next perk unlocked. So we could get wholeness of body and then switch over to something else. I think we already have that, don't we? Um, I don't two, think so, three, no. Four, five, six, seven, eight... Nine perks. I mean, unlocked. we could pick, for example, scholarship focus, pick the whole of body, and then go for scholar. You know, get that. Uh... Oh, we've already got it. Yeah. We've got whole of body. Okay. So. We still haven't picked it. Yeah, I was expecting it to go back, but nope, it didn't. <laughs> All right. Um, well, we do have some stewardship, and I like having stewardship because of the way it uh, could have changed the spy master. We uh, could get a yeah. wife of good stewardship. Yeah. To go to war, go go be marshal and or we could find good well we do have a pretty good marshal so yeah you know he can lead the troops i think learning is a good one here i think so once again yeah go for scholar perhaps Definitely go for scholar all righty and then let's see medicine focused scholarship focused or theology focused well plus 15 development growth that's that's nothing to sneeze at that's a good one and yeah. free learning you know right yep um, health small boost. I mean, we could pick that when we're, you know, dying. Right. Switch over to that. Maybe if we if we stay in this track, I think scholarship focus is a good choice. And we're gonna get a new new point here real soon. So, pedagogy, pedagogy, get some language chance or some cultural fascination progress. You know, we'll see how that goes. Uh, troops. Yes. Let's bring those home. I think uh, we should, should disband all. It should be fine. Just disband them. We can just raise yeah, them right back up as raiders if we wanted to. Let's see how many troops we got to deal with down here. Thirty-five hundred. So if we bring a big army down to Mercia and start stomping around, you could get an alliance, maybe. Could also go that route too. We could check that. Let's see what our alliance situation is right now. None. You have no children. Alliances. We do have a couple of kids. <clears throat> the prince here, the spindly little prince. Got a guardian, so that's good. Let's see if we can find a spouse. Let's look at it by alliance power. Skyland. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, they're they're pretty strong. Also over in Connacht, which is in Ireland. Jumpland over in Nor the Norwegian area, I believe. I'll go for Sweden. Sweden's a good one. 
delicate. Also has but pretty good quick. traits. The saga has a quick trait. That's nice. Pretty and quick. Yep, quick is a good one. Let's see, come on, drop away tooltip. There we go. Calmly. Yeah, maybe not yes. as good. The blood eagle is the ritual which was performed by Vikings, or so we believe. Yeah, it was kind of a, a gruesome way of killing somebody. Not like we have much material on Vikings anyways, like two books written a few hundred years after the fact, so... Right. But, you know. Uh-oh. Inbreeding. That could be a problem. Ah, that's fine. That's what we're here for. <sighs> it's Crusader Kings 3, come on. <laughs> uh... That's that's why I'm here. Oh. It'll be fine. Nothing bad will happen. <laughs> Versus, you know, marrying him off to a one-year-old or someone a little bit closer to home who's also got a number of alliances already with a lot of people that we know. But he has a truce with Sweden. So yes. they will be most likely going to war. And if they go to war, I prefer to be on the side of Sweden. Yeah. This whole relations thing, though. Man. <laughs> uh, yeah, just go, go for it. It's fine. Totally bad traits. I mean, King of Sweden is all for it. He was already accepted. spindly because yeah, of spindly, the boy. Spindly on us. Yeah. I see we're getting a good deal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll see what happens there. Uh, Count Striker? Strike. Stierkar. Striker's funnier. Of Munso. What is Munso? And the guy is from Sweden. We might want to pick a... Uh... Living different over here. person for our succession. Yeah, we definitely want to try to do that. I mean, hopefully it's not going to be an issue anytime soon, but... You could pick one of our children. Let's see. Heir and cousin, nephew, son, and Actually, lord. Spindly boy. Uh, <laughs> firstly, check uh, which one is your player. Yeah. Maybe it's, it's the same guy. It's not. It's this guy here. This, uh, mm, yep, uh, that, let's vote on him then. The guy living over. I here. mean, guy is gonna die before we dead, so. Yeah, probably. Uh, I mean, he's king heir to Kingdom of Sweden and Kingdom of the Dane Law, but he's living in Ireland for some reason. Can you imagine having both of these titles? That'd be pretty good. That one. would be a lot to deal with. But I think we'll die before that. Uh, yeah. What's gonna happen? I, I, I honestly like this guy, this this son better. Deceitful and mm. rowdy. Better than Mr. Spindly Bones here. <laughs> I mean, bossy's fine. Guy's yeah, brave though. A brave's a good trait for Vikings. Yeah, but that paranoid stress gain mm, that could be fatal. Uh, deceitful is sin, but whatever. I'm actually gonna. I'm, I'm thinking this is probably a better choice. Sure. Huh? Let's see if he's got a. Yep, he's being taught by us personally, so that's a fine, fine option. Uh, there we go. Let's let's make him our. Oh, there we go. He's now our. We could also error. check our spy master because uh, I think our current one has minus thirty. Yeah, that's uh. Is there any better? No, well, there's a twelve. Oh, there we go. Yeah. With a plus thirty-seven, so. That's an obvious choice. Yeah. Like I said, he's a little easier to deal with. We should probably make this guy a little happier. I think it would be fine. Isn't he one that's dying soon as well? Um. No, he's fine. No, yeah, he's young. Yeah, just sway him. Fine. All right, let's pay a pope a visit. Maybe we can so. get some cash. Maybe we can, you know, steal a hat. Steal a hat, yeah. The papacy. Look at that. He doesn't need all that hardware. He's Come in the on. middle of a war. He's distracted. With a basset, otherwise. is that a crusade? Uh, attacking caliph. It is a crusade. Al Ibn al Mutatid of the Abbas Abbasid Empire on a crusade for the Kingdom of Jerusalem. That's an early one. They're losing, though. Yeah. Abbasids are. Uh, Abbasids pack heat in the start date. Yeah, they, 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 bring, they bring the thunder. Alright, let's. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and. Uh, where do we have our flag set at the moment? Let's put it somewhere broad and open so we can get lots of people to show up. Let's raise some raiders. Go see if we can steal an arc. Maybe lose it. Uh, to the thoughtful King Andres of the Dane Law, gladly accepts. Wonderful. We're now allied. 
4,000 men. Uh, let's see where I can, can we collect anything along the way. I will go to Kent first. Kent yeah. is a really good one. And then straight to Italy. 18 there. 66. 23, 36. Yeah, there's some, there's some money hanging out out there. One of my favorite start states as Vikings is to actually play as Jarl Hastin mm -hmm. and just straight going for Varangan Adventures against the Papacy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the, day one, declare war, just go for it. <laughs> take over the, take Central over, Italy. <laughs> yes, and you actually have the best province in the entire game. <laughs> you can easily go one-on-one -on -one with the whole kingdom of Italy. <laughs> nice. That is a... Uh, that's one way to go for it. <laughs> Play the game normally? Nah, just go for Varangan Adventure against the Pope. <laughs> I mean, You're like, yo, Pope, what's up? Uh, Jarl Heisen is very much the uh, build your own country kind of character, and I love him for that. Yeah, because you can just like start with him and go anywhere. Yeah. yeah. We even have an achievement as a Norse character to win like an Iberian struggle because Jarl Heisen is exactly like that. Yeah. Cultural fascination progress 35%. All right. Science. Science good. <clears throat> uh, let's see, we've cleaned that one up. Let's go clean this one up. Let those guys get a chance to go on their walkabout. They just straight up left. They did, because they knew they couldn't stand up to the might of their northern neighbors. Uh, I think we will... Uh, oh, 11,000 coming out of Sweden. Oh my god. <laughs> Sweden also wants a piece of cake. Yeah, yeah. They definitely want to eat some of that. Oh, what is this guy doing? It's fine. Let's do this for now. So what 77. Do, yeah, that's Canterbury. That's uh, that's not bad. That's a holy site. Yeah. So what we could do, we could we we could go around the coast of England, mm -hmm. and then we could go straight to the capital of Kingdom of England because it's on the river. Mm -hmm. So we will actually not have any attrition due to that. Okay. Well, they're gonna raid that one first. That's too bad. Yeah, just go for the next one. Yeah, this borough of Hastings. Yep. Good stuff. Very important province in about uh, 100 years. Probably should have delayed and not gotten into this fight. Ah, that's fine. But Counselor died in his sleep. Oh, we got a banner. Nice. Don't mind if I do. We lost Counselor because he died in his sleep. Well, that's too bad. That guy is not getting to Valhalla. Hmm. Steward and champion, or just our champion. Is there any other vassals that might but a four? Yeah, I think not. If you brought some numbers to the game, then you might get yourself a position. But um, if you're going to be useless, well, sorry, pal. If you have a useless character, it's actually good to set up your powerful vassals as uh, counselors. Set up your powerful vassal, uh, yes. powerful vassals as counselors. But if they're useless, though, I mean, if everyone is useless, you know, yeah, yeah well, they, they stack uh, money, they stack troops. Right, and if they're not on the council, they have forty opinion penalty with you. Right, that's that is true. That is true. Um, but the for that particular position, he had a rating of four. That's eh, fine. Which is um, less than desirable, in my opinion. So yeah, we'll come on over here. England is. What do we got here? They've got oh, yeah, thirty-five hundred men. I I think I need to make this stick this raid and take it. Well, they're still getting raided by Sweden as well, so they're going to be. And the entire army is off somewhere doing. Something. God knows. Yeah, something less than useful. Not protecting, yeah, 11,000 men from Sweden here, so. That's a good one. They're going to be like, yeah, we don't want to get involved. Uh, generous. Mm. Lower income. But more diplomatic, or we can be no. diligent. diligent. That's stress loss plus 50%. It's good. Lots of uh, extra abilities. One of the best traits in the game. Or patient. Which is... It's alright. It's fine, but not as good. Um, I'm thinking uh, that's a good uh, yeah. good cost, a uh, good spend of stress right there. Yeah. Um, are you done over here yet? No, you're still doing your thing. Finish that raid. Then we're going to come down here and grab this 34. Ooh, got a prisoner too. Nice. Got all these un just things just laying around. <laughs> oh, we just lost our. Yeah, just casually picking position. up a child going to enslavement. You know? Hey, buddy, you want to go with us? <laughs> Got candy in the van. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we 
you like a puppy? <laughs> oh, darn old raiders. Well, we were busy raiding. We got raided. Uh, 16 learning and 12 learning, but no med medicine trait. So what I think I'm going to do is I'll just grab one of these for now and keep the search going. Good having idea. Yep. None is worse. Having somebody who's meh at it is worse than having none. But is less worse than having none. I would argue against that. If you have a bad course physician, mm -hmm. they might just cut off your leg while your arm is infected. I mean, that is true. Yeah. Or we can gamble on the fact that maybe we won't get sick and <laughs> need to have uh, you know somebody there. Okay, at 40 years old? Damn, you're brave. Yeah. Well, I think we'll be fine. I think after this raid, we could take over England. Seeing what actually wars we can declare. But I think... Uh, yeah, try, try to declare a war. We'll see what our options are. Sway. Anglo-Saxons are good people. I mean, if we're trying to do some culture stuff here... Game. That's not going to affect that though. Yeah, that won't, that won't affect that. Game Last 75 prestige. prestige, though. Lose some prestige and gain some opinion, which is kind of the whole point of what we're doing here with this guy. Um, yeah, I guess we could gain some uh, gain some extra opinion for one point two per uh, lose one point two per year. So hmm, that's like eight years, five years, something like that. I don't know. It's from the netball park. Simple maths. Let's see, even tempered is my child forgiving. Do we want a forgiving child? That's sinful in the That's cringe. Yeah. About wrathful? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Dread, martial. Less diplomacy and intrigue, but uh it's virtuous, so that's good. Fickle. I think we have a clear winner here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think some wrathfulness is good. But that's gonna overall mess though. We're gonna get stressed over this. What we could do could is a little QA pro tip. You could pause the game right now, mm -hmm. get a stress level 1, and then immediately go for a feast and lower your level. Because we haven't had a feast. That last feast was the last guy. So that reset our feast countdown, didn't it? Feast. I think so, yeah. Yeah, so we could totally game the system. So, so just pause the game first, yep. Yeah, and we'll do that. And it was paused. We are overwhelmed. I think we'll be fine. But let's go over here and host a feast. Oh, okay. Got the money for it. We'll not we're lose stress because off. we're shy. Well, go, for, go for a hunt then. Never mind on that. 42. Yeah, that's all right. And it's cheaper. So. And this is why shy is the worst choice in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Simple as remove shy. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, oh we didn't have God. a lot of control over that one. So it is what it is. We'll just have to deal with it. At least we're no longer overwhelmed. Hey, we got another captive. That's good. Um, let's see. What do we have here? 30, 30 more here. How much money do we have in our pockets? Quite a bit. Mm, is it going to be worth 100 men to do that? 100, almost 200 men. I want to go there. I will go south. Go and south and then go to... These guys. Uh, you will easily delete. 15, 31 over here. 30 over here. Yeah. Go that path and then we'll go up. To the capital of England. Collect this little bit on the way. Hunt a rude vassal. Look at that cocky scullion. <laughs> Malmfriedur. Reeve Wilfhild hisses from atop her hunting steed. My wife, Queen Malmfriedur, seems to have a hard time bearing the insults. You are acting like a child and will be punished like one. Taste at the belt. Tasting the belt. One of my favorite modifiers in the game. <laughs> huh. Minor health penalty and a prestige loss to that person. To I mean, Reeve. she is insulting your wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 32 stress because we're shy. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, yeah, shy is a pain in the neck. Um, or this one also seems like a poor choice. Yeah, yeah, nope. You're going to act like a child. You'll be treated like a medieval child. I mean, we obviously don't treat our children like that these days. No, but, uh, I mean... Back then, that's just what you did. 
children casually also drinking alcohol. Yeah, totally normal by medieval standards. Right. Okay. Well. Kids, you want to watch an execution? <laughs> that also was completely normal. <laughs> Very much so. How times have changed. Yeah. Excuse me, if you're just going to hang around and not do anything, we're just going to push right through you. So thanks. Then we can raise another stone. Sweet. Uh, let's see, where can we... I think you can do that in all of your father. It is, yep. Departed brother and ascension to the throne. So. I would go for the departed brother first. That's a good one. Yeah. And where to put it? East riding, west riding, or Lincolnshire? No, Lincolnshire. Lancashire. That's Lincoln. the one on the right. different one. This yep. one over here. That is at 88. <coughs> control. East riding, plenty of control. But and it doesn't always give you control. West riding. Not really now. Yes, if you hover over, it should uh, show you what kind of modifier it will get. So Ancestor Runestall will give you... Opinion. Uh, hover over the modifier. The red one, uh, the green, yep. Yep, popular opinion. Popular opinion's good. It's good for every county. There. It's 37 there, and it's 37 there. We'll so go for West Riding. It's a good one. Yeah, it's one of our core holdings that we've been had since the beginning of the game. As is East Riding, of course, but... You know. West side. <laughs> <laughs> like a gangster. I was not expecting to hear West Side from you. <laughs> that was com I was completely caught by surprise. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I, I am from the West Coast of the United States, so, <laughs> you know, it's a thing I heard every now and then. Yeah, from the way we pronounce Swedish names, it's very clear that none of us are Scandinavian. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Very much true. Yeah. Uh, I think it's worth it's worth to fight the hostile troops for some extra prestige, especially in this situation, fresh after succession. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, we step right through them. Uh, as I struggle to make out the tiny letters on the scroll before me, I feel a headache building once again. Why do scribes insist on writing such small symbols? I squint and try again. Nothing short of a miracle with the aid of a stone of glass. Even old men struggle and with bad eyesight could read with ease. Hmm, interesting. Gain some learning. Gets a weak hook on us. I need these stones, lose some money, gain some experience. Sell everything which is impossible to... <laughs> <laughs> yep, makes sense. <laughs> That's very medieval thing to do. Yeah, <laughs> or we can get some learn a lot of learning lifestyle lifestyle experience. I I actually think the experience is a good yeah, choice I've, there. Yeah, good money. Yeah, um, I mean the stress loss would be nice, ish, but uh, I think the experience is a little more important because we get a perk right off the bat, just bam. Nice. Increased development and county efficiency plus twenty percent. Very good perk. Mm -hmm. All of this color lifestyle is a very good one, actually. Yeah. I, that, there's some, definitely some good stuff happening there. And, and now we can move to Somerset. Somerset. Yep, over in this area here. Mm -hmm. can take this little 25 on the way. Because the way raiding works in CK3 is that if you're moving along the coast or the rivers, you do not get any attrition when raiding. Which is good. That's a very good thing. Uh, supply limits being what they are. Hey, he's uh, up to a minus 30 opinion. We're making progress. Nice. One day. Someday. Uh, our acquaintance died in the dungeons. Let's go back and check the dungeons again. Let's see if there's... You could do a mass ransom. Yeah. Uh, that would just be a hook. This one would be a little bit of money. Because when we do mass ransom, um, we do not ransom the prisoners that we would ransom for hooks. It only gives us money and prestige ransoms. Yeah, okay. Cool. Boom. Be free, be free. <laughs> as long as I get my cash. <laughs> be less free, my pockets. Be full. Uh, let's see, we can get some 20 here, 25 here, also along a river. That's the that's the one you were looking at, right? Yeah, and then capital. So, oh, that's this one up here, 23. Uh, we might have some artifacts from the capital. Maybe conquer the king himself. Yeah. Let's see. That I think is worth the. Uh, very much so. Yeah. The risk. Oh. Uh, we are. 
<laughs> the moment we arrived to the capital, we were at our army limit with the loot. What a lucky bastard. Alright, well, yeah, we'll just, go just go drop it off and come back. Uh, let's maybe plot a less painful path. I think we'll be fine. It's, it's only... Yep, that's, that's a good one. Just, just the one, one hit. For 150k. We don't, we don't lose gold. We just yeah. lose the gold capacity. Right. Can't grab any more. But, you know... 460, that's a, that is a good raid right there. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see what kind of wars we can declare on England, actually. Mercia. Oh, obviously. To lower the first, Fine. Yeah. Fine. Fine. They're going to come right back. That's one thing that always kind of bugged me. It's like you can't raise, you can't even consider declaring war with your armies. Raised. I don't remember why it's that. Yeah. I think it's just prevent exploits. Uh, let's see our claims. What do we have here? Wow, that's... Nottinghamshire. That's sad. For 125. Mm, how much? What do we need to invade a kingdom? 154. Because kingdom would be a good one. Yeah, duchy. We need... Oh, illustrious. Okay. And, and we need four for... All right. Yep, let's... Uh, kingdom. We know what to do. Raid the Pope. Yeah, he's in the <laughs> he's in the hole with money wise, and with our ally, we've got double the manpower. This is why Sweden is a good ally. Yeah, yeah, and they would be more than happy to come in and help. Um, 150 to take it, take Nottinghamshire, just as conquer county, but to conquer claim, it'd only be 125. I think we should go for right and stack up a bit more prestige. Yeah, because if you go to wars over. Tiny one, piece one, like that. yeah, you will lose more than you will gain. So let's wait a bit. Let's uh, let our armies regenerate. Yeah, they're down then below, we'll, below 3,000. Yeah, and then we'll pay Pope a visit. Maybe even King of England. Nephew taken prisoner. Yeah, it's fine. Ransom more. All right. 69 gold. Nice. Probably doesn't have much money left. Yep. Two <laughs> gold. <laughs> That's why I like going through them manually just to see if it's worthwhile. Let it build true. up. So. Uh, from what I remember, the mass ransom does not include the uh, not full ransom ones. Mm. Two though. Mm. Oh well. Uh, one of my servants approaches me holding my Suger war hammer in his hands. My liege, while I was cleaning the armory, I noticed that this here weapon has rusted away to almost nothing. What should we do with it? I look the weapon over. While no amount of reforging could ever make it battle-worthy again, it would be possible to clean it up and preserve it for display at only a marginal cost. That's 50 a good gold. idea. Uh, it would become the owner of this warhammer, which gives us oh. plus two prowess and plus fatal casualties we'll, even get, though we'll get different modifiers if it becomes our court artifact uh, yeah is converted into a court artifact giving only grandeur and prestige which is fine um or no just try, yeah i think that's i think so yeah let's check what we got to okay yeah secretary warhammer is that's not else there we that's go that's all right prestige and grandeur bonus yeah mm. It's fine. Let's go put it on display. There we go. Ta-da. Look, everybody. Prestige. I have an old Warhammer. <laughs> <laughs> what is your deal? Finger bones of a king. Oh, boy. A peddler in a cloak with dozens of bubbles and knickknacks sewn into it rattles up to me. My lord, I have an artifact of grand illusion with which you may convince all you possess magical power. May convince all you possess magical power. Okay. Got to put the right emphasis and the right mm -hmm. syllable. Milo. Yeah. Now she brandishes a colorful fabric worn on a very thin string. It appears dormant at first, but by manipulating the thread, one can affect the illusion of the worm has come to life. Oh, a fabric worm on a very thin string. Got it. Think of how this will impress the ladies at court. So just a basic magic trick is what she's got. This is literally a carnival toy. Yeah. 
gain some piety. The war. War. <laughs> Worm on a string <laughs> artifact, and every child in the court gains ten opinion for five years, considers humorous. Oh my God. <laughs> um, You're being scammed is what it is. It, it is absolutely <laughs> a carnival scam. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, gain some piety, or, you know what? Whatever. <laughs> what I'm sure the kids string? will like it. I don't know how many kids are in court, but, you know, whatever. I know I've got some of my own. Uh, search for physician. Yes, let's let's get a better physician going. Hold court. I think we're fine for now without holding the court. Yeah. All right, we're up to 3,600 men. We're still gaining 65 a month, so if we let it sit for a bit, uh, that'll grow pretty quickly. We can maybe get up closer to 4,000 perhaps. We could build some uh, new buildings. Yeah, maybe. that is definitely true. And yes, England has merged. But it's thick. Yeah, they're, they're thick boys, but... Their manpower is oddly low. And on depth. Yeah. yeah, we just need to get a good war goal, and then one war, and England's over, really. Yeah, we could we could end them, or at least cut them down to size a bit. Um, but uh, until then, let's see what we can build here. We can expand the guild hall. That's a city, though. They don't want to build in cities. No, why not? Um, it doesn't give you as much bonuses as if you were to build in your own castles. Hmm, yeah. Unfortunately, we can't found cities at this point, and I think we've built stuff in pretty much all of our holdings, our personal holdings. Mm, check. Uh, yep. Bolton yeah. here. Yeah. You can upgrade. Yeah, we can do some upgrades. There's definitely no empty slots really anywhere that we've got available. Uh, what else do we hold? We also hold Lincolnshire. Um, that's vassaled off, vassaled off. Yeah, we've just got our holdings here. So we've built in everything, but you're right, we do have some upgrades. We can upgrade the barracks. I will upgrade the barracks. Yeah, because that definitely... Heavy infantry and spearmen damage is good. The year is currently 930. 930, yep. 4th of January. Let's do that. Yeah. North culture very much focuses on heavy infantry. Yep. Those hus huskarls and uh, Some of the best units in the game, by the way. Yeah, they're really good because of the way they counter, and they uh, they definitely have a lot of power. Uh, During the testing for Northern Lords, actually, the DLC in which it was introduced, they were so powerful they could win an entire army just by themselves. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I will never forget just 300 Varangian veterans just going against, like, 2,000 Italians and just completely demolishing them. <laughs> Nice. That was a fun to see. <laughs> Let's upgrade this barracks as well. There we go. Let's get some upgrades going. Yeah. That's good stuff. Uh, court physician. Oh, no. That's much better. Oh, that's an easy pick. Yep. Knows what she's doing and has a 12 learning. Yeah. Way better. I think this... Let's see what the aptitude shows up as. I wish that scene, screen would give us the aptitude, but... What are you going to do? We could, yeah. It's good. Good. Much better than poor, what we had before. Not, like, perfect, but she's 35. Could still do some learning. Apparently, we don't longer have Ulster in our demands. We have given it to a ah, yes. vassal. So, yep. Um, yep. It's an under control of a vassal, which is fine. Um, we could use an extra holding. We're at four out of five right now. Um, we do, we're waiting for, let's get that running while we wait for our troops to rebuild. Powerful vassal, can declare wars. What wars can we go out? There's a lot of wars we can declare. Oh, we're not, we're no longer, um. Duchy of Man. Yeah, yep, that's that nine-year-old that we beat up. She's now 12. Uh, <laughs> she's moving up in the world. Yeah, she's getting older. She's still beat up, though. She's still not. She's still... Yeah, that's right, because she's severely injured. How is she not dead yet? I don't know. Can you imagine being severely injured for four years straight? Yeah. How many of those missing levies are from the event troops you started with and didn't reinforce? Well... Oh my god, that's... Like, they don't rebuild, though, that I'm aware of. So... Huh. They should stand down on inheritance will be inherited on succession. Yeah, but they don't reinforce. That's uh. That's one thing that I really don't like about these, is like, what? why? 
Well, these kind of trips are supposed to help you in like those, you know, scripted wars at the start of the game. Right. So these ones shouldn't, you know, come with succession, but they do. Yeah. And then they're just like there and there's like 15 of them. And yeah. They're not really doing much so anymore. Something we might look into. Yeah. Something better to deal with those. Um, other than that, I'm not entirely sure what die, uh, we, we could question send them to is die. That. Send them to die so you don't get a false sense of strength. You know what? That might actually be what I was. What, we, we could raise them uh, so as uh, raiders. Yeah. And then they will just die. Just group them together and send them off all at once. Yep. Good idea. Yeah. Let's see where are they at now. Are <laughs> there? Fifty-two. Oh, we. How are they not dead of the old age yet? <laughs> Do we have some terrible commander that we really hate? Zero. Our champions zero. Uh, don't assign any commanders. I think you'll be fine. Yeah. What yeah. could possibly go wrong? Just make sure they raid and just send them off literally anywhere. 26. Can they even carry... They can't even carry that much. <laughs> they can <only> carry seven. <laughs> there are, these are some weak Vikings. Right. Vengarian guard. By the, chi by the time my champion, Hissinger, comes to me with his plan, his cunning plan. Me lord. Uh, he seems to have already made up his mind. Serving with the Varangians in Miklagard will bring both wealth and glory. I cannot deny that part, but I could deny his request. On the other hand, would it be right to stop someone in their pursuits of glory? Go with Tyr's blessing. Moves to stay at someone else's court. Gains the trait that... Give them more diplomacy, martial, and prowess. And opinion of those kind of folks. And no, I forbid it. You are needed here. Who are you? The Varangians are Nordic. Well, we're still playing as North characters. Mm -hmm. That dude's got some. Got some. Guy's uh, already prowess. Just send him over. Guy can win the war single handedly. Go for it, dude. Get good. He will come back after a while as well. You can't raid here because there is not enough of you. So we need to go find somewhere small to raid. Oh. You can also just kill them to attrition and just move to like inside what? of the England. Oh, hey, let's go get this four right here. <laughs> <laughs> Do something <laughs> useful before you die. <laughs> wow. Overworking your man. I see how it is. Be useful. <laughs> you useless. What are you doing? You are about to get crushed, maybe? Uh, I would be delighted if your son Ormer could come visit my court in Jorvik to meet his peers. I'm inviting everyone of note, which unfortunately includes him. <laughs> Minus 100. What did you do to him? Uh, <laughs> what happened? My nephew and vassal. What oh, happened? Shit. Show me his opinion, please. Yeah. Um, what is that? Uh, the title ah, claimant wants the titles. desires a bunch of things that we have. He's also unreformed. He's now, humble, though, but he's ambitious. There's one option to fix this. Murder? Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll send the send the boy there. He comes back dead. Well, then we will get our vengeance. Oh, you are going to try to raid. Okay, well. Send you 42 men over there. <laughs> uh, I would uh, rather like to go smash smash instead. Because this is going to hurt them when we go to conquer them. Staring at the stars. From all my evenings watching stars, I have seen with my own eyes what I have only heard of before. The stars move at different speeds and reverse their course at different times, but seemingly in large groups, depending on which celestial sphere they belong to. Indeed, with the right calculations, one could even predict their movement. My Ritzkodi does not approve of course. Leave the skies be, the celestial realm is for the elders to know. Hmm. I will find my answers in the heavens, gain some learning, gain insight in the heavens. Okay. That's a good one. That is nice. Um, and, and he loses 10 opinion. We do need that prestige. Yeah. Uh, or earthly focus for some piety. Uh, and piety and clergy opinion. It's clergy opinion. He's only at minus four. Yeah, it's whatever. And won't be around for much longer because he's 67 years old. Yeah, we're gonna 
do something beneficial with that. Nope. Yeah, there we go. That's one problem solved. <laughs> well, I guess we don't have to sway him anymore. Unfortunately, he was a pretty good steward. And... <clears throat> it's hard to find good help these days. Uh, do we have a better spy master we could get a hold of? Eight as a spy master. Or nine as a seven as a steward. Hmm. What's more important? I would keep... I would... Huh. I mean, he's going to die soon, too. I would pick the third, op third option. He's your vassal, so he will get plus 40 opinion. Yeah. Seven's fine. Could be better, but, yeah. yeah. There we go, plus four. Instantly. Yeah. Alrighty, so we did some smashity smash. They are no longer raiding. I'm tempted to just conquer this right now. Go for it. And yep. then we can go Pope visiting. Go, go for it. Pay our respects to the Pope. One of my favorite parts of uh, Northern Lords is it's two things: is the uh, Northern Sea Empire and mm -hmm. the Kingdom of Man. Actually, the brief on decision. Yeah, uh, they're going to call in that ally with all eleven hundred troops uh, to help easily. defend their hundred and twenty-three. The the moment you siege down their ca uh, the capital, it's over. Yeah, we still have those 42 men left. Oh, yes, those raiders. <laughs> 52 men. <laughs> they haven't raided anything. <sighs> Just send them over to die. Let's go find something to attack. There's 120 up here. Let's go see if we can get them, get them into trouble. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do it while ra uh, landing as well to get that minus, minus 30. I don't think they will fight. They're, they're neutral? Probably not. Yeah, just send us to die to to attrition would be my best pick. Let's see if we can find somewhere. Rumor comes of age. Yes. Our spindly little son. Yeah, they do grow up fast. He's a fight. Yeah. Except guy looks like a skeleton. He does. It is October after all. <laughs> <laughs> the season is upon us. Tis the season indeed. We're not even fighting. This is so sad. Jump in. Have some fun. Do something. Let's poke, poke, poke with a stick. Do something. Nope. <laughs> Just observers. <laughs> yes, it's a, quite a fine battle you've got going on over there. Here, how about you go walking over here? Let's see what you can find. See if you can get into some trouble. Ah, uh, the county of Mayo. Yeah. Is there a way to just, like... Suicide them or like completely disband those troops because when they're gone, they actually drop should drop out of the list, right? When the yes, thing, they, okay, yeah, nephew Ragnar, mind and body. The further I delve into my studies, the more apparent the link between mind and body becomes. Too much worry can make you sick, and the mind is no stronger than its vessel. Good point. I need a healthy outlet to cope with the strains of ruling. I have read about the benefits of vigorous movement, as well as journaling, to soothe frayed nerves. A very good event. Yeah. Could go for a run and become uh, possibly athletic, or get exercise for years. Could become a journaler, or get a wide vocabulary, or lose more stress and just take the day off. The Which athletic is... do we have? It's none. Quite a bit. Uh, it's 71. It's 71. Yeah. Athletic um, is a very good trait. One of the yeah, best ones as well. That is a good trait. Prowess, health boost, stress loss. Was journaling give us journaler? Get some learning and some increased stress loss. Twenty percent. Hmm. Yeah. You know, I think athletic is good even and for. Let's hope for that fifty percent. Yeah. There we go. Athletic. Look very that. nice. That's good for us. Let's see. Search for a physician. I think our current physician is not bad. Good, specifically. No, it's really good. Yeah, I think we'll just turn that decision reminder off. And we'll carry on. Wayward son. All right, and you, wayward children. Hey, look. They let's don't go fight want these guys. to die. Go fight those guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Expanded. Okay, so East Francia, I believe someone said. Yeah, send, send them Francia. deep into Francia. 
He'll be fine. West Frank, yeah. Let's uh let's send them all the way down here. Go 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 stand on this mountain top. Oh there oh there we go. That's a red skull. Fifty two casualties. I, I hope to die then. That's a long way to go. But think of it this way, maybe they're going to Valhalla. That's what <laughs> they think. They were doing something bold. Uh, I have been studying the ancient religious texts and the writings of scholars, and they all seem to agree that the world will end 6,000 years after its creation. <laughs> By my calculations, we are less than a century away. <laughs> However, my Gori Stirburn urges me to keep it to myself. Leave it to the elders and avoid panic. What if your calculations are wrong? Gosh, what if... Everyone deserves to know the truth, gain some prestige, make you mad, he'll stop endorsing us, uh, a reasonable point, gain some experience, gain some piety. This may lead you down the path to zealousness. Thanks for the warning. I should consult, get a second opinion. Let's get a second opinion. The fun Cons thing is that if you have a very high learning, about 90 or something, you actually get an event predicting World War One. <laughs> nice. Yeah, as a little Easter egg. <laughs> it's it's, it's cool. really hard to get as well because it's not yeah. guaranteed chance when you have high learning. Right. I mean, it could be the Nostradamus of your day. All right, those guys, they're going to go. They're going to do their thing. And now, fortunately, while they're doing that, this our, our replenishments have oh, not stopped. So, yeah. Yeah, cool. let's raid some more. Let's get that prestige. Yeah. Or we could go to war against men. Yeah, well, we gotta wait for those 52 to die first, so let's... I think some more raiding is in order. Let's... Ooh, who won this war? Alba beat somebody. Probably just a rebellion. Yeah. Likely. Yeah, that's... Wandering of a house of some sort, but he's in jail now. Hmm... Let's find a nice place where we can get a big group together. Leads. Seems fine. They will lead the way. Raid some local raiders. Thanks, pop it up. It is pretty good. <laughs> All 4,000 men. Our nephew of the Dane Law is now our player heir. Thought we had right. uh, yep. voted for someone else. Yeah, we're, we're pushing for someone else here. What is this clown getting? This guy. This guy. Hmm. Only a child. He's known, known for, for his sin. sins. Oh, yeah, because oh, he's uh, deceitful. This is why I believe the spindly one should be the heir. Uh, I think so. I think so, yeah. Let's see how he turned up. I don't remember his traits, actually. Let's go have a peek at him. I mean, aside from being spindly. Yeah, he's, he's brave. He's got no sins, Easy. but he is brave. And diligent. diligent. I think that's a far better character right now. Yeah. Unless the second one just randomly gets a genius or something. Then. Yeah. Well, I think we've got time to deal with that. I mean, unless something randomly unfortunate happens. But I think for the use the right now sort of uh, focus... Yep, that's a very, very tall. Yeah, let's see if the electors are swing to our side on this one. Yep, swing to Rank our side. Rank one. Nice. My son, Val... Thofir, seems to enjoy our latest... seemed to enjoy our latest feast immensely. Of all the things, he could not stop talking about the rich clothes and the glittering gold he saw there. Okay. He could become greedy. I don't know about that one. Monthly income is good. Monthly income per stress level. Alright. Is it possible to have a king title, then take Isle of Man with legend prestige for decision, then destroy your kingdom title or granting independence to raise the Isle decision? I don't think it's possible because if you're the king, it already uh, disables the decision. Yeah. From what I remember doing testing it. But it was a while ago as well. Gregarious. Some diplomacy, attraction, personal scheme, power, opinion of other gregarious types, or lustful. 
Intrigue and fertility. I mean, this is medieval times after all. Yeah, and we are hoping that this boy becomes our heir at some point. I know he's got greedy, um, but we got a chance to change that into something perhaps a little bit more useful. I think greedy's fine. Yeah. It's on the right trait. As opposed to gregarious. Oh no, gregarious far easier. Uh, far better. Go yeah. for that one. Yep. Or lustful. Yeah, we'll, take some, yep. we'll take some okay. stress and get gregarious. Greedy was actually a very powerful trait all the way up till uh, 1.7. Then we changed it. Then we changed it. It no longer gives plus 10 uh, tax. Hmm. It only now gives plus 5 because of how powerful it is. Yeah, that was a bit much. Alright, these, these little adventurers are about to adventure themselves out. And... Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Kapow. Hey, there we go. They're gone. All right. And now Let's our number check. is proper. Now it looks realistic. You know what? The game that I'm playing at home, I'm get running into the same situation, and I think that's what it is. So I will utilize those men to their fullest. <laughs> As you should. And then get a more realistic number. Because seeing 9,000 or 6,000 or whatever up there is nice, and having it not fill is just frustrating as hell. It is. So yeah. now that I know what's going on, see, this is why playing with people who know the game really well is super, super useful. So, thank you. Appreciate That's, that. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. The best way to learn CK3 is just have a QA tester right next <laughs> to you. <laughs> right? I mean, everybody. Everybody should have a QA tester right next yeah. to them at all times. It's great. Obviously. Because they'll help you figure out what you're screwing up. Uh, they are at war. They are attacking somebody. Is that right? I think it's a rebellion. Yep. Oh. Sure is. What a great time to jump in and just be like, <laughs> suck <laughs> Um... You having a bad day? Then well, you have to disband your men first. Armies are raised. Because we raised them for raiding. That's right. We did. Yep. But we could go for a little raid. We, we could. could go a little walkabout. But at the moment, I think getting the smashy smash on is a little bit more important. So you guys stand down for a minute. <laughs> Just kidding. You're not doing anything. And then we're going to go do something much more interesting. That um, poor child, though. I know. Having a bad day. Because you had a bad day. Uh, let's take Lanarkshire. Get that port there go out of the way. Yeah. Declared war, and let's bring the f you know... The unluckiest kid of medieval times, by the way. One of, certainly, many unlucky children to be born there. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, the 76 are probably not going to do a whole lot of uh, damage. No, easy. Yeah, we got a couple grand here. Who are these guys? Let's let them walk away. Let them chase them down while we go siege this. Mm, a sacred text. As I'm out for a stroll around the market, a merchant calls me over insisting she has something that will pique my interest. The scent of drying herbs and foreign tinctures overwhelms my senses as I approach the stalls. So, smells like patchouli? She is rifling through her collection of dusty tomes and other treasures. After some digging, the merchant produces an old book and insists I need it for what is to come. Fine, I'll bite. Lose some money. Receive a book artifact. Perhaps we can come to an agreement. Um, less good odds to pay the same and also spend prestige. Because we fail, or a small chance to get less. Gain some stress because we're just. Gain some dread. Or, what need have I for your books? How come your character is being scammed in every corner? <laughs> <laughs> it's the second time. First a worm on the string, and now a book. book. Yeah, an artifact. That's probably like point one something or other. That's Why don't you just, you know, grab it forcefully? Oh, how much stress do we have? We are currently pretty we're uh, 81 right now, so that would put us over the threshold. We could buy it. We have a lot of money. Yeah, we could. I mean, we've got room for artifacts, so fine. Why not? We've become the owner of Ingeborg's Heroic Sagas. Piety. It's actually all right. Monthly piety, prestige, and learning lifestyle experience 5%. It's, that is actually not stuff. bad. We'll take care of that in a minute. Uh, sacred text... Bibliomancy. 
book magic? I wouldn't know. <laughs> mm, I don't know. Well, have a safe trip, uh, Elizabeth. We'll see you soon. Uh, as I'm putting away my newly acquired Ingeborg's Heroic Sagas, a slip of parchment falls out. Upon it are instructions for a practice called Bibliomancy, where one might divine their fortune from a passage in a book. I have to Google Bibliomancy. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it translates to book magic, but uh, that'll, <laughs> that'll be uh, interesting to see what Google gives us. Uh, all I need to do is open this text to a random spot and read the first fateful verse my eyes might fall upon. So the Bibliomancy is the practice of foretelling the future by interpreting a randomly chosen passage from the book, especially the Bible. Yeah, yeah, so book magic. Mm. Uh, the temptation is overwhelming. Gain might gain a perk. I'll have nothing to do with this unholy practice. Lose a little bit of stress. Uh, you know what? I Let's think go there's for a it. chance yeah. of lifestyle perk. There might be a chance for bad things, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I follow the instructions to the letter. Haha. <laughs> in a book, letters, and select a passage at random from the text before me. Shivering with anticipation, I open my eyes and read, Fear is the Mind Killer. Is this a Star Wars reference here? <laughs> no, 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 I don't that's think Dune. so, no. That's yeah. Dune. A coward dies a thousand tiny deaths, yet a valiant man dies but once. What am I to make of this? Hmm. My man literally found a copy of Doom. <laughs> <laughs> you gained 50 learning lives to the experience. Fascinating. Who made this event? This is <sighs> a good event. Yeah, this, this is interesting. Gain some experience. We got a high chance of this. And gain focus reading, which is plus one for three years. And some prestige. Or gain some experience and gain tense. Hmm. Interesting. Or what utter nonsense. <laughs> become paranoid. <laughs> wow. Ouch. One option. Wow. I think it's alright. You know, 88%, that's not a bad chance. That's a good one. Yeah, uh, and that's good stuff there. And we got it. Alright. We'll take that. Thanks. Okay, let's get these, uh, these, 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 oh my god, still. I have finally cracked the mysterious passage from Ingeborg's Heroic Sagas and feel much wiser for it. Thanks to that merchant, the threads of fate suddenly appear more clearly to me. Fear may well be the mind killer, but I have faced my fear. Without fear, I die but once. And we get the perk. Nice. Very nice. Uh, well, we're going to have to start going down pedagogy. Pedagogy? Uh, pedagog. I think it's yeah, pedagogy. That one. Yeah. yeah. Wards can get an additional skill... And can become your friends. Learn language success chance plus 25%. I can use that right now. I am trying to learn Swedish and it is kicking <laughs> my butt. Oy. I, know, I can like stumble my way through conversations with folks at a, at a restaurant or something like that. Mm -hmm. Kind of. Uh, but trying to carry on a technical conversation in Swedish, not going to happen right now. Still doing far better than me. I just started. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know how to ask for a bread. Yeah. But how to ask is a very uh, mild way of putting it, because I say broad and yeah. hope for the best if right. I need. Yeah, my daughter likes to try to correct my Swedish, and hers is pretty good already. She's nine. Um, but when I say something and she corrects me, I'm like, honey, I am always, always going to have an accent. So, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. I appreciate you trying to help me out, but it is what it is. I'm always gonna sound like this. Sound like an American. I probably don't need to fight this fight, but yeah, it's fine. Feels like fun. Feels good, man. All right. Uh, well, we've got the allies finally wait, showing wait, up. What happened here? Uh, hmm? you're fighting a bigger war now. The county of which you were just fighting on. What happened? What? What did happen? Uh, that, can you that click was on ours. the uh, mm, the ruler of man? Uh, it's yeah, the same the, guy here. Oh, so the guy who was ruling over the island died. Yeah. And his heir must have been the one in Galvaray. So she's still here in charge of. All the of whole this. Thing. Yeah. And then this guy 
Yeah, I must have inher just inherited when I crushed this little army here that happened. And uh, we've lost this land because it was ours, actually. Yeah, it was. So let's go over there. <laughs> I like how our uh, rally point is still there. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> just we'll to remind people. We'll siege that down. Um, I should probably go stomp on these guys while they're still disorganized from landing. But we're going to have to go through them first if we go that route. So maybe we can get there this way. We started a while ago. Uh, we've done uh, our inher inheritance. We died after ruling for about what, 30 years, was that? Yeah. Good, uh, good we're long. Yeah, we're doing some raids, we're doing some minor wars, and in preparation for uh, Invasion of England. The sequel. Yep, we've got a new priest over here who's much, who's a little bit better at... Uh... He's buffed, though. Guy works out. Yeah. yeah he's but he's the priest. Sad. Like, yeah. He's patient, he's callous, he's humble, he's an astute intellectual... But he's feeling sad. Content villain. Yep. Yeah. That, that's a congenital trait. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, you know what? Those guys are technically neutral, so let's just walk back around them and grab this. Let's see if we can get these sieges done and get this war over with and figure out what's going on here. But yes, we're essentially trying to get the Blood Eagle achievement. Yep. All right, so we got that. Let's enforce our demands. We'll get that. So it sucks that we lost a lot yeah. down south. That was weird. Well, let's see. Are we at truce with them? I think we are. Because our armies are yeah. raised and... Uh, yeah, truce. Okay. So... And that's why you grant your lands to the Norse characters. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. That was odd. Um, I think that land... I'm not sure because it was given, uh, you already got this from the previous stream, but what I can guess what happened was that somewhat similar din dynasty to the one currently ruling over Man was mm -hmm. ruling over there, and once they died they just become independent, because yeah. they got the lands. The brother-in-law has apparently gone independent as well. Has he now? Yeah, he's under somebody else. Who is now? Yeah, who was under you? Okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's just the view was weird. He's, he's got he's, he's got just having war, a rebellion, having his own little war. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. We're good. It's all fine. Um, all right. Still part of Dane law. I think we should raid. Yeah. Or we could go to war with England over Duchy. Let's actually do that. Over Northumberland. Uh, I think we should go for Mercia. I think we can get all of Mercia easily. Let's see what do we got here. Thirty six hundred versus our thirty seven hundred plus our. Swedish, Swedish allies. But they will not join because they're the vassals. Right. And Duke of uh, Angry. Uh, it's in the Germany. That's a powerful one, though. That is a powerful ally. And they will probably want to come join because they're not currently at war right now. You know what we could do? Is we could get another alliance. Yeah. We have a daughter, don't we? I think so. Oh, no, we have a son. Uh, yeah. Get the second son. Yeah, marry him off. Get an ally. How? The guy just got strong. He did. What a Chad. He was a strong. The moment we said that he will not be the ruler of... Uh, he started working out. He started working Hit out. Hit the gym. Yeah. Got swole. Maybe he will be a nice ruler after all. We'll see. So we're already allied with Sweden. So that's not going to do us any good. I think that one's good. Can't shift them of Wallen. Oh, that's, that's a powerful one. 4,300 and really not that far away. The close current enough to come and join. The current here is 932 AD. Yep. I, I would go for this one. That's uh, not a bad choice. With 31 Marshall, easy. Mm hmm. Six year old. <laughs> She's curious. Six year old betrothed to our 15 year old, nine year difference. You know, it's by the time right. they grow up, it's not that big of a difference. I mean, they're not marrying. They promised for marriage. <laughs> right. Betrothed. Yeah, let's wait a bit and see what's up. Yep. Hey, what's I captured up? Chief and Braggy. Uh, let's see. We got it. Okay, great. So, so now... Yep, Sweden and Volin. Nice. Yeah, but now or never, I think. All right, let's England. Let's see what you got. 
18,000 versus 8,000. And he's in debt easy. Big time debt, so easy. he's not going to regain troops at all because of that. Or at least not his, uh, his uh, men at arms. Which duchy do we want to go after? Uh, Petty Kingdom of Mercia would be my choice. Petty King. That is a big old chunk. It is, yeah. One of the biggest duchies in British Isles. Gwynedd, Kent, Chais. Because if we. Um, Wessex, Cornwall. If we get the Petty Kingdom of Mercia, mm -hmm. your vassals may be strong enough to like get Derby and Charisse in between your lands. And just close that up? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, alright. Okay, let's go for it. All right. Okay, let's um, let's we got that there. We can just raise all those there. We're gonna Remember let's to call some allies. Oh yeah. Let's get some allies coming. Hey guys, party time. Party in England. We're hosting. Spend three fifty. Yeah. Worth Easy. It. And our other ally here. Hey buddy, remember? What we just did with our children? <laughs> 75 for 6,000, man. <laughs> uh, the guy like is underselling himself. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll raise our troops. All, almost 4,000 of them. Hey, you're going to come. Uh, I shall join you. Our foes shall fear Sweden. And, of course, I shall join you. Our foes shall fear Easy. the men of Wallen. Easy. The war is basically already won. Yeah. I would wait up a bit. Yeah, for them. let them come join. Yeah. So we don't get caught out. Have to face a big, big fight on our side, like with these guys right here. This little stack. The good old concept of bigger army diplomacy. <laughs> it works so well. Yeah. Speak softly and carry a big stick, or just carry a big stick. Right, let's wait for our pals. Oh, oh hey, easy. there's. There we go. 4,000 troops showing up soon. I think you can easily move against the army of England right now. Yeah, go just smash on them a bit. However, you'd want to attack the army that's currently sieging. Because they're distracted? No, because uh, you will get defensive bonuses from helping out relieve a siege. You know, that's a very good point. Strong tactical decision there. And by the time they get down here, they'll probably have lost their um, landing penalty. And even in the even if they uh, still have the landing penalty, oh. that's fine. They I ran away. But that's nice. All right. Let them go. Yeah. We'll let that fight happen. Mm -hmm. Eleven thousand versus eleven hundred. You could go against the army of Angria. These guys right here, the yes. angry angry folks. They got another two thousand coming in. Yes, but uh, they should finish up the battle, and they will immediately go and help you. Yeah. It's going to cost us some men early, but that battle's going to end, and then they're going to come and just tease. Wounded the count. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Hulk smashed. And everybody scatter! Let's go catch these guys out, too. A new translation. A new translation. Such a good soundtrack, this one is. Yeah. More than anything, my quest to be a learned man is teaching me how much I do not yet know. So that is an important thing to learn, how much somebody doesn't know. That's so important throughout the world, I wish it would be uh, more common knowledge. <laughs> uh, what's more, there must be so much knowledge that has been lost to the ages as books fall apart or languages are forgotten. You got that right, and there was that little fire down in Egypt somewhere. Uh, that actually didn't do much. Yeah, no. Library of Alexandria? Uh, the, the Library of Alexandria at that point was a bit stagnant, and it? it mostly had a copies. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, it was still, you know, a bit meh, Tragic, yeah. But it wasn't all that bad. Yeah, I think the Dark Ages probably had a bigger impact on human yeah. knowledge. Yeah. Uh, perhaps I could contribute by making a new translation of one of the classic works. Although, what would I even translate? The Medical Insights of Hippocrates? 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 Treatises? Gain translating a book, get some learning, right. might gain a perk, court of agriculture, translating a book, might get a perk. <laughs> oh, that sounds too hard. <laughs> sounds like my kids. It's too hard. I don't want to. <laughs> Gotta struggle. I know. Let's go with this one. Medical books are good. Okay, so he's raiding, and, or not raiding, trying to siege, so we're going to go help our defenders again and just... That didn't take long. That was a complete smash, and I wasn't even part of it. Nice. That's right. fine. Yep, just siege down the castle, and uh, the this castle over here. Uh, <laughs> eventually. <laughs> yeah. Go right for the heart of the matter. 
Uh, let's go. Let's see. I, I would pick the closest one to your. Uh, like yeah, this that one. one. That's, That's a good choice. Nice and nearby. All right, spread out. Go, go collect. A new translation. Unlike heroic, sa heroic sagas, this work posits that. Dot dot dot. This choice may lead down a path of cynicism. Gain 150 prestige. Translate quality will improve significantly. Gain 50 learning lifestyle. Ev as evident from the will of Odin, this might lead down towards zealousness. So if you had to choose between zealous or cynic. Prestige. Prestige. We want to get that war goal for entire kingdom. Yeah. That would be nice. All right, boys, split up. Go take some castles. Go, go collect. Collect these lands and make this war end. Come on, guys, settle down. Settle down. Uh, nephew is the heir. What? Why are we being raided? Ah, don't bother with it. That's fine. Ugh, you annoying little bastards. They're not stealing your money anyway. They're stealing your vassal's money. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. It still bothers me. But we're busy with other things right now, and that's why they're trying to take advantage of it. Uh, our other son comes of age. Nice. Uh, for the longest time, I was hoping that good tutelage would be enough to teach him the intricacies of careful planning. All efforts have come to naught. However, while he has shown himself fully capable of petty scheming, few would call it refined. But refinement is not always what you need. It's on the right, huh? I think it is. Yeah, he's fine. In terms of war, what we could do is we could split our army in half and move half of it to fight the armies. Yeah, a new translation. A few more stress. will improve significantly. Improve slightly and gain some prestige. Or it can wait. Uh, we'll gain some prestige and just let it continue on. All right, so split the army. Or we could use a, a station besiegers button. Yeah leave just enough behind so we can go and step on another castle or smash this army yeah, again. Yeah, just go for that one. Just smash these boys again. Oh, what? 13,000. Huh. For Kingdom of... Ulsterian trying to take Ulster, huh? I think that's a very good... Uh, click on that, man, if you will. I think we just got a problem that's easily solvable. So... Oh, Hastings. Hey, a descendant of one of my favorite rulers in the entire game. Mm. Um, so, click on the tour that we have right now, and diplomacy. Yep. This one here? Uh, the other one. I'd say we just surrender. Just let him have it. Guy is throwing 13,000 men for a one county. I think that's... We lose. Nothing except one worthless title. And we'll be back for that later. You can have it. We're busy with other things right now. Yeah. Plus it's being graded anyway, so good yeah. luck, Lamau. Deal with that. <laughs> no longer our problem. That becomes someone else's problem. Oh, you don't wanna you don't wanna stand there while the rate you're trying to do your thing? Okay, well, well. Let's let our allies handle the majority of that stomping and getting... Why is that conquered? Uh, I think it's a... Uh, a vassal sub, war. Sub-war going on. Yeah. Yep. Well, fine. Okay, so that's happening. That's a thing. You guys can do that. Let's go over back over here and let you handle that. Yep. That's going to be well and truly dealt with. What's this? No, the translation. Our... our uh, priest. A specific phrase from the treatise of Hippocrates has been frustrating my translation efforts for days. I've even started muttering it to myself sometimes. Still struggling with that one, are you? My Rix Gordy hefts a weighty old tome. One simply needs to know where to look. Help me uncover this. 50-50 chance to improve uh, or gain some lifestyle perk. No games. Tell me what I'm looking for. I think mm. I'd pick the first one. Yeah. Because it's good or And how about the outcomes? Yeah. There we go. Just tell me what I want to... And you're raiding me again. That's fine. 
That's very much fine. The rating is Vassal, not you. No, the, is that North? I think North Riding is um. Is Vassal? That's right. Yeah. Jarl yep. Mjorvik. We could plot to kill that guy soon. Your son. And our player, no, our nephew, and our player heir. Yeah. Yeah. Do with that later. Nephew taken prisoner though. Wait, he's our nephew. He's sixty nine years old. Much much older than us. The dunged. <laughs> Slovatskinism and Russian? Yeah. The, the guy has been eating so much extra man, he's named it the Dung. <laughs> I, I just love this. The, this is from the events, from the our event pie. Mm. So from this recent thing that we just put out? Mm -hmm. That we did. Exciting. Is it a Rangian adventure? No, it was not a Varangian adventure. Varangian. I find myself working on the translation of the treatise of Hippocrates for hours under the flickering light of a candle. Often I will barely notice time passing. God, that's like me. Just not doing translations. Uh, my scribes remind me, however. My lord, it must be past midnight by now. Is it not time to rest? No, I have to keep going until I feel done. Gain some experience. Hmm translation will be concluded faster yes some sleep is good or you can all keep working while I rest quality remains lose some stress though we could lose some stress uh, yeah we could lose some stress got an army coming in uh, whose army is this that's one? easy yeah we'll take care of it yeah looks like they're heading maybe towards my little group here but yeah, yeah it was help don't worry about it yeah. Yeah. Oh, so I'll, I'll, or just stand, just wait for death, yep. and, and get stopped. Wow. <laughs> they got deleted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you catch them and you kill them all during the first phase of the the battle, uh, then they they're done. They like basically surrender. They give up. Uh, new translation. My translation of the treatise of Hippocrates is coming along, but one section uh, in the version I am copying from gives me pause. My scribe insists. My scribes insist that the words on the page mean as we hold two feet and sprints rising edges of hunter. That cannot be yep, right. That's what? Sounds, sounds like medieval translating to me over there. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what the localization of that looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I can come up with something more fitting. Translation quality improves significantly, remains unchanged, uh, leads us towards cynicism. We translate the text exactly as written. Leads us towards zealousness. Oh, the meaning is obvious. Let me handle this. Because we are have good learning skill. Yep. Let's take the easy one. I mean, we have a chance at a lot more. But we have a 100% chance at the very bottom. Yep. Yeah. Just take the good. Wow, that is a lot of that is a lot of people in that area. That's that's the power of alliances. Yeah. Big alliances, what, yeah. That's what you want. Levying grounds constructed in Lincoln. Nice. We are known far and wide. Wonderful. An exact translation. This effort has taught me so much. An accomplished translator for 10 years. Gain piety and prestige and clergy opinion. That's handy. Get a perk and get a book. That's good. Oh, lose translating book. Yeah, that's fine. But still, that's good and get a perk. I have learned so much. Apostate. Different faith opinions plus 15, conversion cost minus 75%. Finding England for the power of friendship. The true friends are the ones we made along the way. It's true. Friendship is magic. Uh, let's see, siege progress. Fort level is too high. We're just yeah. trying to starve them out. Battle, let's see, Ipswich lost. The Norse is one of the most powerful cultures at the start of the game, and that's why they didn't have siege weapons, because then they would just steamroll for the entire Europe. Ipswich. They still do that, but you know. <laughs> yeah, they took Ipswich with all 230 men. Oh no, five anyway. spearmen. It's not even a war goal. It's fine. <laughs> Let's keep sieging the castle. Sorry, we took Nottinghamshire and got our 23 gold from that to my liege. Um, arrived, pay homage. Fine. Gonna give me some gold. All right. Nice bonuses. We'll take it. 
Let's see, we've taken this one. What's next along our pathway? That's being handled. Uh, we could move slowly towards the capital. Yep, yep. That one's being dealt with. We just have to finish sieging the ones that we're currently sieging. That one's being dealt with. Could go yeah, yeah, we could go there. Right there, yeah. Let's go crush that one. Let's take it. The allies we have is currently the Kingdom of Sweden and the Duchy of Volin. Yes. Which give us like 10,000 mil alone. Indeed. So Sweden is bringing 10,000. 10, 10,000, yeah. And the, the Volin is... Volin is another 3,500. So, so we're doing pretty well. It's an mm. easy war right there. Yeah. Uh, we've got, uh, what are we at? 17,000 versus 1,500. <laughs> I mean, we've beaten them quite a bit. Yeah. They, they, we had some early battles, and uh, the AI made some tactically poor decisions. Uh, Yarnvada is under siege. You could go for that. Yeah. Yeah. We've just finished that siege there, so these guys are free. We can go end this little threat over here. And then you can go for the capital. Yep. You may lose a few due to attrition, but I think it's well worth it. Yeah, that's... And they're going away. It's fine. They're going to run. Let's see if we can catch them. Don't run. You'll just die tired. Yeah. Go to sea. Why not? Okay, I would leave it right now. Oh, there we go. That's 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 what you get. Yeah. Uh, let's just move the main stack to that uh, where they're fighting right now. I think Sweden's leaving. What's going on? I think Sweden just left. Yeah, it looks like they, s they scampered off to go do something else. Uh, go... Uh, Who died? Prisoner died in dungeons. I would recommend going to battle against England right now. Your AI will help you out. I think you can even win this battle on your own. This one here? Yep. Because they're distracted with the siege. It's just a plus. They're going away. Sit, chase them down. Yep. Uh, check what Sweden's doing. Maybe it's they got. Maybe someone declared war on them. Sad, yeah. Oh my God, Sweden's thick. Uh, yep. They got another little war going on. Dutch attacking Barcelona. Duchess Clemencia of Barcelona. What? Why are you attacking? What? Why oh, are so you screwing around in Barcelona? The the guy from Ireland declared war on. That's Vikings for you. That's what? That's Vikings. Why? I still remember on the release of the game, Bjorn Ironside would just casually raid India out of all places. <laughs> like it would take as much resources <laughs> to go do that raid than what you would bring back. B Bjorn's vassals always just went for India for whatever reason. I mean, the, the release bugs or setting a be fun. Setting a tradition there. Oh, look, we got them split apart. Nice. Setting traditions for future generations. <laughs> Yep, I would keep going for that uh, army. Chase it up. Yeah, let's go finish this if we can. There we go. And right. I'll keep shooting. Maimed Duke Reese. Okay, cool. And just smashed it. All right. Go for that siege. Leave that there. Mm -hmm. uh, you can move your 600 men to help you out there. Yes. Let's bring them down here. They can probably hold that siege for us, and then we can bring the big troop in. Uh, I, would keep, I would no longer keep it separated. Because Sweden left. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we have to play it a bit more safely. Play a little bit more cautious game. Well, we're still fairly close to maximum. Yeah, it's all right. We're doing troops. fine. It's just a matter of time till we siege down. Yeah. That one and the um, the capital. Let's get the speed up here a little bit. Oh, Sweden's back. Hello. Uh, yep. Yep. They're done with that adventure. Or maybe they just got tired of. Nope. That adventure nope, they, is. They decided that ours better. <laughs> more. I've. N no clue what's going on. The Positive team. chances of having good things here. Dangerous faction. That's, That's nice. fine. Yeah. What are you doing? Do we have controls? No, we need to pop some control. Up That's here. fine. I will, I will leave it for now because it's your uh, last. Oh, yeah. I'll just there. I guess you, ho you hold that. And. There we go. Now the capital. percent Let's see if we can get anything good out of here. I have no clue why the AI decided to move their English capital over there. Because they have so much better provinces. Yeah. It's probably hard to due say. to probably due to the uh, succession. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Like ours is no longer up here in North yeah. Riding, it's down here in East Riding. Hey, we discovered Banis. 
That's all right. Schema court. Cool. Banus. Banus. Let's find out what Banus is. I think it gives you more amount of times. It oh, unlocks no. the March feudal contract. That's all right. And levy reinforcement rate plus fifteen percent. That's all right. Reinforcement rate's good. I like uh, troops growing back quicker. Get rid of bandits running rampant. That's good. Do learning perk. Excellent. Learn on the job. Twenty That's percent one. counselor's primary skill added to your own. That's a really good one. That is nice. I like that. That's good stuff right there. <coughs> no, we're quite old. We could switch to the uh, the health bonus thingy. Just to make sure we don't get an accidental heart attack during sleeping. Because 52 years CK3. It's yeah. quite a bit. No. Oh. Switch to what now? Uh, switch to health lifestyle. From scholar to health. <laughs> oh, yes. To get that small health bonus. To the medicine focus? Yes, very good. Now, we know for sure that will not end the war prematurely. <laughs> not due to that, anyway. <laughs> Spending almost five gold per month, but we've got 800 in the bank, so we're fine. The siege is almost over. We lost a siege, what? Oh, these clowns are back again. Ah, just leave them. Yeah, when we take the capital, that'll end it. Because it's almost over. There we go. Easy. Seized memory of Queen Ethelberg after the siege of Worcester. Okay, cool. It's all right. Yep, just ended up and uh, yeah. Yoink. Good stuff. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's Lovely border nice. core. It's fine. <laughs> They'll probably lose that one duchy on succession anyway. Yeah. All right, now we are at ten out of five holdings, so we probably need to get some vassals in in to work here. Uh, now, do we also, is there a, a larger there Mercia? Is. Is uh, that? Yeah, I would recommend you zooming that. Yeah. And I'm about to teach you some very pro tricks about giving clowns your vassals. Mm, cool. I look forward to learning that. Um, so usurping the title means that we take the claim on it? Right? Uh, no, you get the title. Just take it. Yes. I mean, you hold the land right. to everything in it, so... And he's, his troops are pretty well crushed, so he's probably just going to capitulate. It's not going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. You already, you already hold the okay. digital one. So we're just like, all right, it's mine. Here. It is. Somebody take some money. It's now mine. It is. Uh, cool. Okay, great. Right. So now we have it. And now what you want to do is, since that land belongs to a different religion and culture of yours, mm -hmm. you want that to be someone else's problem. Mm -hmm. However... You also want a vassal powerful enough to actually handle that. So I would recommend making one vassal that is Norse Astraou uh, holding entire Mercia. Mm -hmm. So the Jarldom give that to somebody who is Norse? Norse, yes. However, um, I would do it a bit differently. Mm -hmm. uh, so go to the realm map mode. Realm map mode, yep. this one here. Yep. Click on Warwick, for example. Mm -hmm. um, Grant 2. Grant this to somebody. And from here, pick... Someone. Uh, the strong son, for example. That's a good one. Keep him in the family still. Mm -hmm. Yep. And grant him the Jarldom of Mercia. From here. And all the lands within. And everything underneath. Yes. So that then he has to go through and figure out who to handle these off to. And also he will be powerful enough to actually manage the lands he's holding. Because he still has a few vassals that are Christian. Mm -hmm. And so they will. They should not be strong enough to go to war against him, because he's holding however much of this he can handle, yes. and, and can getting troops from that and parcel it out however he decides. Exactly. Okay. Interesting. And so, and then he'll report to us basically. Oh, my goodness! I didn't. Re we were having so much fun. Yeah. I didn't realize what time that. it was. I mean, we've done. We've done a lot. We have. Like, then we finished up the war with England. Yeah. I mean, that that is the biggest chunk we've taken the entire game into any one big step. <laughs> but we've also grown big enough that we can do it. Yeah. So, uh, today, we might have given up a little bit here and gained a little bit here, but we gained all of this right here. That's a huge chunk. That is a huge chunk. It's a, it, it has, I think, seven or eight counties within that one duchy. 
Yeah, something like that. That's a, that's a powerful dashi over there. Yeah, yeah. He's at five out of three on his. Yeah, we'll so be he's fine. Figure that out <laughs> once we unpause it, but we're back down to five out of five, so fine. Um, I'm going to disband the troops as well because yep. that's a good thing to do. Um, we can unpause now. He will grant it to whoever seem, he seems fit. The good thing about this, though, because he's Norse, mm -hmm. uh, he's going to try to favor Norsemen. As, he will favor Norsemen. Yeah, that's a good thing. Cool. Uh, we can ransom somebody. Excellent. Um, yeah, fine. Well, we've done some. We've made some great progress today. We've had some good times, and we've made some friends along the way. That's so what we did. I consider today to be um, completely successful. I would too. I yeah. would too. It's it's. I've been a good what two hours. Two yeah. And a half? Yeah. I learned something, and so I mean that's going to make my own gameplay better, which is good. And just have a QA tester on your side. Yeah, someone who knows the <laughs> game really, really well. And, like, you've been with Paradox directly now for a short time, but you've been working for us through, like, a contractor, is that right? Yes. Yeah, so you've been with us for quite some time. And really, honestly, that's, I think, part of why we brought you in to be in <laughs> internal, because I, you know what you're doing. I know the game. Yeah, and it. you're good at what you do. So, uh, yeah, let that... Uh, we can send that out to the, the fans out there. Like, that's <laughs> a way to get in is um, be good at what you do. QA is a way in. Um, so, yeah, if you're interested in getting into the games industry, we've got a living example right here of how you can do it. Um, so, yeah, hey, uh, you know, I, I got to say thanks to everybody who's been watching and interacting with us. And uh, don't forget, uh, next week we're doing this one more time. Uh, we might have something maybe kind of spooky theme going on. I don't know. We'll talk to Troy about that because uh, Halloween's coming. Um, thanks for joining us, everybody. Um, I hope to see you all next week. Um, I don't know if there's anything else we got to mention. Um, if there's any things happening or anything like that. Um, oh, pay attention next week. Uh, Victoria 3 coming out. We're super excited about that. It's a fun game. It's a good game. I think really happy like seeing it. our colleagues actually work really hard on the game. Cause oh, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's good times. Um, so they're going to get a lot of the attention next week, um, which... Very, totally very really so yeah those guys are they're working hard and they're doing good stuff um but i think that's it for us so thank you and uh see you next time take care